We are receiving the ball in beautiful Houston, Texas. We're currently chasing the Colts in our division for that number one spot. So a win here would be big against this Vikings team that, oh my god, absolutely slapped Pierce right there. Uh, but a Vikings team that hopefully we should be able to compete against. Nothing too scary on their defensive side. Offensively, they do have some things I have to fear about, but we'll wait until that time comes. Hand it off to Cooks. They give us the check down and we get the first down. We'll do a little play to play action. Try to trick the defense. I see him open, although inaccurate. Out of the hands of Yancey, the pressure was coming to him. We're calling Rashad Bateman's name today. He has the opportunity to get superstar development trait. If we can get him 150 yards or, oh, throwing out of a sack and Pierce will truck through two players. Good job by Yancey to get that off in time. The pressure is coming to us though. Rashad Bateman has an opportunity to become superstar if we can get those three touchdowns or 150 yards in the game. That's gonna be tough to do, but I'm up for the challenge. We'll see what the defense gives us. I'm not gonna force anything, but uh, yeah. Right down to Matt Blanket. They're giving us so much space. You may have also seen on that play, they do have freezed safety Tony Spagoots from the recent draft. Love to see him getting some play. He looks very good. Oh my god. Again, the pressure is getting to us. I, c I couldn't find a good opening right there. From the 35-yard line, I think this is doable. <laughs> okay, I, I, my timing is not good. <laughs> my timing is bad. Unfortunate, we're giving up the ball right there. What is this offense going to bring? They have Kirk Cousins at QB, but they also have an elite wide receiver and some really good, or a really good running back. Dalvin Cook, their elite halfback, and then Justin Jefferson. I don't want to play a lot of man coverage if I don't need to. Oh. Cousins throws it as at his receiver's feet. Oh, uh, that is rough. I don't know exactly how to play Kirk Cousins. I don't know if I want to be sending pressure. We'll continue to send four. Our line is good enough that we can do that. Uh, it's just going to be about preventing the yardage. Can we prevent him from getting this first down? Pushing forward. Justin Jeff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that Justin Jefferson? Uh, they didn't show who got injured there, but whatever receiver that was... Did get injured. I think it was just a superstar. Oh my god. Kirk Cousins. Dude, <laughs> you gotta chill out, my dude. You took the wrong route, buddy. That's Percy Peedle getting some playing time on the left end. Justin Jefferson. Oh my god, let's wrap up. Fourth and inches. Walker prevents the, <laughs> the first down right there. It's good. I tried to establish a run game, but really nothing was happening. Oh, maybe not the right play. Oh my god, we get away with that. Bateman actually had some space right there. I just knew Yancey couldn't throw it that far. That would be insane. Time it with the linebackers. Oh, Bateman's almost able to hold on. That's two pretty bad play calls, I'm going to be honest. The line has been doing well. Holding back the defense. Oh, they're sending the heat. I have to just let it go. And unfortunately, I get it to Pierce, and we only gain two yards on the play. They really sent the heat that time. I didn't have a lot of hot routes except for Pierce. That's a that's a quick four and out. Let's get a stop on defense here. Tub Custard gets pushed through. Kirk Cousins. Was that my objective? Was I supposed to get him there? I thought he was well out of my zone. First and ten. A super competent offense. End of the first quarter. This has not been the sort of offensive dominance I was hoping for, and also defensively. They've, they're a much more competent offense than I give them credit for. Oh my god, just pushing through. <laughs> Did they get it? No, they're saying he's down. I mean, he had an in right there. Oh, in the backfield! Box trap! Good job, Box Trap. He has such great speed. And man, I thought he was going to pop the ball out right there. That was insane. Third and goal. It would be a big time stop by your defense. Is Box Trap again? 
They're not blocking him. He's getting right to the halfback. That's two tackles for loss in a row from Box Trap. I have been so impressed by his play. Now that we're running two middle linebackers for a lot of plays, Box Trap has had the opportunity to shine. Up through the uprights. Good job by our defense eventually stopping them at the line. That's big. All right, the game has not gone according to plan so far, but I think that can change soon. Hand it off to Matt Blanket. They're playing a very conservative zone. I'll take the five yards though. Matt Blanket wide open again. I mean, he's, I mean, Matt Blanket is, he's too good. Down the middle, it's Jordan. Oh man, Pierce. He's getting that cardio in. Matt Blanket, down low. You're too slow, defense. Matt Blanket was insane that drive. Getting us like 50 yards right there. And now he's doing some Pilates. Staying limber. Would love a four and out for my defense. What can I say? I'm selfish. Oh my god. Oh, I... I, I just destroyed Kirk Cousins after the throw. I don't think they're going to be running the ball anymore. Don't know if they have the time. So I'm really going to prioritize the pass. Okay. Tackle him inbounds. They're going to do a hurry up. Over to their tight end. Efficient. You know what? Kirk Cousins not making a lot of mistakes. Every once in a while a bad throw. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed by their offense actually. Except for the time management, I guess. I don't know why they called a timeout afterwards. So I thought I was going to come into this game and just absolutely dominate. This team is the real deal, though. It's another screenplay. Cook, falling forward, gets them another first down. They're going to get points on this drive, aren't they? 54 seconds on the 27-yard line. Kirk Cousins. Oh, no. It's box trap. One sack, three tackles. That's two tackles for loss and a sack. This might be a breakout moment for Box Trap. Jesus. Kirk Cousins. Oh! White, Devin White really wanted that pick right there. They're going to settle for the field goal. Honestly, without any timeouts and their clock management, probably the right smart thing to do. Up through the uprights. And they will take the lead. Oh, man. Too open. Kirk Cousins, <laughs> that's as much improv improvisation as Kirk Cousins is going to do. Oh my god, we got so lucky right there. Kirk Cousins uh, completely missed Justin Jefferson right there. <laughs> and instead of possibly a touchdown if our safety couldn't get to him, uh, we get lucky with that one. Kirk Cousins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Why was he throwing it out? Did the pressure get to him? Can we wrap up? Falling forward? Wow. I mean, great job by Smith Jr. If Minneapolis ever ends up getting a competent quarterback, they're going to be a problem. They're going to be a really good team. Man, just a giant opening, it seems. I mean, actually, that was good timing by Kirk Cousins. I got to give him credit there. They're just utilizing every part of the field, just slapping us. Kirk, don't do it, Kirk. Kirk, oh my god, they, they get the recovery. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to do it, Kirk. Kirk, you don't, you can't make me do this, Kirk. <sighs> okay, I, don't, I think that was a miscommunication. Was that really that bad of a throw? Just flooding the end zone with receivers. They go with the check down, and that brings up fourth and three. <laughs> they are touchdownless so far, but they're going to go for it. Fourth and three, they're done settling. Let's go for the blitz. Oh, it's a, it's a fullback pass, and they will get the first down. Good job by them. Wow. <laughs> Can Jello Box Trap make a stop again? He gets a little help from his friend. Is that Devin White? Beautiful job. That's a tackle for loss, baby. No one in the backfield. They're going for the throw. Kirk Cousins! 
trying to take it himself. Do they want him to die? Please, someone check if he has life insurance. This man might be in danger of insurance fraud. Again! And he pushes through this time! Kirk Cousins with a Hulk-like ability! I respect thy Kirk! Kirk Cousins, I bow down to you! Cousins is putting the team on his back. And now, Minnesota taking a 9-point lead. Impressive. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. I'm rock hard right now. I, got, I gotta take off the jacket. I mean, everyone's getting covered real close right here. Shepard not able to hold on to it. And that brings up fourth and seven. I can't believe I'm already giving them the ball back. I, I don't think I'm forcing stuff down the field. That one just looked like a good look in my opinion. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> he is now a menace that we have to try to contain. Who else do you have to contain but Petrie? A pick. He cheats the route. Impressive. Our defense coming up clutch for us when we're struggling on offense. With that, great defensive play. It's now only a two-point game. First and ten. I can't do single coverage over here. Just in case, let's back off with Owens. Okay, they are going to run it. Oh my god. What a play call right there. Great job by Ed Oliver. Oh, I'm going to be honest, he actually got me with that. Oh my god, Justin Jefferson is so much faster than us. Uh, we couldn't keep up with him. Not at all. And that's the end of the third quarter. Going into the fourth, down by two. Our defense needs to make a stop. I mean, they already scored us a touchdown. What more can you ask for? But honestly, that's how much our offense is struggling today. Big hit by Walker. He will pass it to his halfback coming out of the backfield. Their offensive rank is really bad, too. I mean, the Sim does not like Kirk Cousins, but I've seen the tenacity he's played with today. It's impressive. I'm just hoping for the run right here. It's not the run. And, oh, man. Oh, couldn't get my hand out. And Cook, going forward, gets nine yards on the play. Oh, my God. Kirk Cousins had the halfback on the left side completely open, but the pressure was just too much. He wasn't ready for it. Third and 11. We send him back 10 yards. Check down to their halfback. We will wrap up, and that will limit them to a field goal. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Minnesota beefs it. We'll pass it off to Cooks. A one-handed catch. I actually want to send Cooks down the field. I feel like he can maybe get something going here. Hand it off to Pierce. I tried to juke move, but I should have just trucked the entire way. <laughs> I see him. Cooks. Oh my god, it's nearly intercepted. The, the gap. There was a gap. I mean, maybe Yancey threw it a bit short, so Cooks had to slow down. But I really thought we had some space right there, and then all of a sudden now it's third and six. I see him. Bateman. First catch of the day. You know, we had that objective to get 150 yards or three touchdowns. Hasn't been possible this game, but he comes up clutch right there, getting us the first down. Check it down to Jordan. They leave the middle wide open. Can you actually block for me? <laughs> Blanket decides not to block. Oh, it's bobbled up. A low pass ends up hitting the helmet. Matt Blanket, can you make us a play? Oh, he he caught it so far. Is that a is that a face mask? Did he grab him by the face mask? Oh, <laughs> the refs, they hate Minnesota. I mean, that was clearly a face mask, man. You can't be doing that. Do we hand it off to Ned Thistle? Our run game has been a bit stagnant, but now we have four downs to try to make something. And I know Ned Thistle can do it. Ned Thistle! <laughs> Barely gets us the touchdown and the lead. Oh, he's doing a fancy little dance. Ned Thistle from Europe. They do things differently over there. You know, they're more open to sexuality and femininity, and Ned Thistle wears really, really deep v-necks and loves dance hall music. A little bit more lore about Ned Thistle. 21 to 16, only a five-point lead. We're asking our defense once again to make a big play. With only three minutes left, their offense is much less dynamic. I think they could still run the ball, 
but I don't think they're going to. I think they're afraid to now. Kirk Cousins is going to have to lead them, passing it off. They'll get a couple yards on that play. I mean, he just brushed off that that attack. Owens, I think, is our free safety in replacement of Darnell Savage. He's not the best. He's not bad, though. He's a good backup. Okay, I tried to bait that one out, but I baited it a little bit. Uh, well, I didn't really... I forgot to put the fish hook in. I just threw bait into the ocean. Oh. Oh, not able to wrap up! Uh, second and one. Pushing him out of bounds. That does stop the clock. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Great job down the field, keeping everything covered. Kirk is going to take a big time sack. He has it over down the middle. Justin Jefferson making the catch, but now it's a third and 15. Quite the long achievement they'll have to perform here. Oh, it's Derek Stingley! Keep running, my boy! Keep running, you deserve it! <laughs> Great interception by Derek Stingley! Never underestimate your enemy, that's what I learned today. Uh, what a formidable opponent. The Vikings are one QB away from Super Bowl champions. Instead, they're like 3-8 and eight now on the season, so maybe in this upcoming draft, they're gonna pick themselves up a nice QB. Devin White, <laughs> 11 tackles. Let's talk about Jello Box Trap. Two tackles for a loss back to back to prevent them from scoring on the line and a QB sack. But look at that. We have another breakout opportunity this time at DB. We can also view the playoff picture, see where we would start off. Currently, we are the fifth seed. Wow, it is a super stacked AFC. The fact that we're eight and three and we're fifth, kind of a big deal. The Broncos, why are they third? God damn, why did we get their draft pick? <laughs> Regardless of the seedings, what we have in control is the game ahead of us against the Detroit Lions. They have a 87 overall offense. But until then, thank you for watching. Ta-ta! <laughs>